to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review for the second book in the Secrets of the Isles trilogy, To Treasure an Heiress, by Rosanna M. White. Beth Tremaine has always been drawn to adventure. During her childhood, she fed that desire by exploring every inch of the Isles of Scilly. Now, after stumbling across an old collection of letters and a map buried on her family's property, she's found more adventure than she ever anticipated in the hunt for pirate treasure. But in order to discover where the clues lead, she must search alongside Lord Sheridan, a man she finds inseparable. Sheridan has spent years pursuing whatever archaeological interests pique his imagination, and when he discovers that Beth's search connects to one of his far-removed pirate ancestors, he can't help getting involved. Plus, he finds her irresistible, even though she insists he stole a prized possession of hers. As they work together, following different clues and drawing closer to danger, they start to piece together a story of tragic love and piratical adventure. But which treasure will bring the greatest surprise? The one they find in each other, or the one just out of their reach? So this book follows the characters of Lord Sheridan and Beth, two characters that we meet briefly at the end of book one, The Nature of a Lady. So this book is sort of an enemies or rivals to lovers romance, which is not my favorite type of romance. I ended up liking the romance between the side characters of Sonara and Ainsley better. Ainsley ended up being my favorite character in the book by far. And the main reason that I didn't end up liking the enemies to lovers aspect of this very much was that this aspect of the romance was not built so much on character flaws of either of the characters, but on a ultimately rather easily resolved conflict that on Beth's side was uh, very understandable. Her motivations and her desires were clear and so it made sense why she didn't like Sheridan from the beginning, why she didn't trust him, and so her motivations in not wanting to start a romantic relationship and not being interested in him were very understandable, very relatable, and very clear. On his side, however, it was very clear that he liked her and was interested in pursuing her, but his motivations in not resolving the conflict between them um, were not made clear. And so it was frustrating both for Beth as a character and for me as a reader that he didn't make what seemed like a very clear first step in this relationship as she had made it clear what she wanted and why she didn't trust him. And yet, as I said, his motivations for not resolving this were not made clear, and yet he does not take this action until much later in the book. There were other points in their romance and their eventual um, understanding between them and their eventual chemistry that did ultimately make up for this, but it was a point of frustration at several points. Another thing I want to talk about with Sheridan's character, I have read some other reviews of this book that describe his journey of faith in this book as deconstruction, which in the context of the time and place being Edwardian England, it could be argued that in this time and place what he goes through could be considered deconstruction, um, but ultimately what he's really doing is just questioning the practices of the Anglican Church, and it's all contextualized in his um, interest in history as an archaeologist. He has knowledge and interest in other religions, and he has knowledges of earlier church practice and so, in saying, you know, the early church didn't do certain things that the modern church considers very important, and sort of questioning this, I found his journey very interesting and in points pretty relatable. 
And again, I don't think it counts as deconstruction. And when I had read this, I did think that a character in this time and place, um, in a Christian fiction book going through con construction would be something very interesting to see. And if there's any writer that I think could do it well, it would be Rosanna M. White. And so I was honestly almost disappointed by the fact that this didn't actually, um, in my opinion, qualify. Something that I liked in this book was it does do a very good job of making you like characters that you did not initially like in book one, especially with Sheridan, and also with uh, his friend Talford. It also does a really good job with the mystery aspect of the story. Because the character of Mamlin doesn't uh, play as large of a role as she did in book one, um, some of my complaints about her involvement um, in the first book with some of the aspects of the plot ending up seeming rather contrived or convenient um, didn't happen in this book. The mystery part of it was very solid and I liked how all the little details came together in ways that really just fit really well. One thing I will say because this is a trilogy is that it almost wrapped up possibly too much in that while there are some loose ends left, there's not an, what I would think of as quite enough for a full another book. So I am very curious uh, to see how book three is going to address that and I hope that it doesn't just try to drag things out. So overall, I did, despite some of my complaints about it, I did really enjoy this book. Rosanna M. White has a way of writing that um, just pulls everything together really well. I love the atmosphere that she creates and her style of writing. It's very engaging, so I did honestly really enjoy this book and I do recommend it. This book continued to have a very immersive setting in terms of both the historical setting and the setting of the islands. I really liked the extra atmosphere it, that was added by the pirate aspect of the mystery and the whole treasure hunting aspect and overall the characters even when they were frustrating were very deep and well developed and really interesting and oftentimes very relatable. So that is my review of To Treasure an Heiress by Rosanna M. White. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what your thoughts are on it. And I will see you soon in the next video.